Welcome to the program, Get to Know Your County Commissioner. I'm Jeanette Perez. Today we're taking you to Miami-Dade Public Library System's Westchester Regional Library, where Miami-Dade District 10 Commissioner, Senator Javier Soto, will be sharing some updates. Senator, talk to us about the significance of the recent name change from the West Dade Regional Library to the now Westchester Regional Library. We decided to change the name to Westchester Regional Library because the previous name was West Dade Regional Library. We already have the West Kendall Library, Regional Library. There were confusions uh, with the names that this library, which is very popular, extremely popular, uh, it's in, the, in this neighborhood called Westchester. Everybody calls it the Westchester Library. So this is the Westchester Library. Uh, the commission approved it and we name it the Westchester Library. Located just outside the Westchester Regional Library is the site for the future Westchester Health and Wellness Center. Senator, please give us an update on the upcoming construction and the importance of this facility. Well, this is going very well. Here to my uh, right, there's this sign uh, indicating that the um, building will take place here. The building is paid for. Uh, the county found a contractor for that. Uh, I think it's going to start probably in a month or so, and uh, it will probably take, uh, you know, it takes maybe half a year, a year to the completion of the building. But it's going to be uh, uh, something very good for this neighborhood and for all these areas around here, a, a center uh, for the education of, of, the, of the families and the people regarding diseases, regarding this, that. In, in, in plain uh, uh, um, English, the uh, uh, nurses, doctors will come and give lectures uh, trying to help the people to know about their problems and how to live a better life. Senator Soto, you're also standing near the Francisco Human Rights Park, which is also located just outside the Westchester Regional Library. Tell us about the history of the park, how it came to be, and the importance of what it's dedicated to. The Francisco Human Rights Park was, was named for Francisco, who was a, um, an individual, that was his nickname, an individual in Cuba, who was an engineer, 28 years old engineer, graduated from the University of Havana and also from LSU here. And uh, Francisco was a, uh, a student leader, uh, so to speak. He was very young. He was not a student. He was a professional guy by then, but he was very popular with the students and, and, and very young people. And uh, he was a, uh, actually a vice president of a very successful company in fertilizers and stuff. Uh, Francisco, mm, died because he was captured by Castro, he was tortured, he was, he was killed in the, in the firing wall. And, and uh, all of us who were with him, who uh, worked with him in, in trying to uh, move forward with human rights in Cuba, with democracy, with freedom, with liberty, and, and all these uh, human rights that we so much appreciate uh, in this country, we uh, we, we wanted to keep his name alive and, and it was approved here by the county and by the people. And this is why this, this park is, is named the Francisco Human Rights Park. Inside of the park, there's some mini parks with names of other leaders of the world from other places who uh, uh, their names are written in the, in the history of the world as champions like Vaclav Havel, the uh, president uh, first president of the Czech Republic, who stood in front of the Russian tanks with, with uh, no weapons and convinced them to go home and, and leave the Czech people alone. Uh, we have Felix Varela at the entrance of the park. Felix Varela was a guy who, in the days of the colony in Cuba, uh, fought against Spain and was a, a leader in the, in the uh, uh, one of the big beginners of the Cuban, Cuban fights uh, uh, against the colony in that time, in that time, the colonial power was Spain, and uh, uh, the park is a park dedicated to human rights, and named after Francisco, uh, number one, and, and then the others. Human rights are crucial to uh, civilization and to uh, uh, the kind of uh, freedoms that we so much uh, appreciate and fight for. As always, we thank you, Senator Soto, for your time and important updates. That's all for this edition of Get to Know Your County Commissioner. For more information on county programs or services, call 311 or visit miamidade.gov. And be sure to connect with us on social media. I'm Jeanette Perez. Thanks for watching.